Hi everyone, I'm going to be showing you what we got done for first grade for the week. Um, and if you've noticed, I haven't been doing um, preschool. He's pretty much on his summer break. Um, he was acting up a lot, so I'm just taking a break. He just turned five, so for me, that's just okay. And my state, he's not supposed to be in kindergarten until he's six, so I'm just giving him a break. And we'll continue on next year. Um, so... This work box um, activities will be just for first grade. So anyways, um, I'm gonna start with phonics. So for phonics, we got our long and short uh, pages done. And these are the ones that uh, you can actually print them out from Easy Peasy. He also did his Abika um, story. And the one that he worked on was the st stop that top. So he just pretty much reads um, from the words. We read both of the words and then he does his own story. So that's what he did for the week. He did a page from his phonics uh, workbook. And this just came from uh, Dollar Tree, I think. It's a Crayola. So got it at Dollar Tree. Um, for reading, his uh, reading words that he had to read, um, I kind of just use these as um, to see if he knows the word and to see how fast he can do it. And he went through these really quick. Um, he got a perfect score on it. So he did a really good job with that. He did his reading comprehension. And for what we did for reading comprehension for the week was actually go over our book and everything that was misspelled, um, everything that he needed to correct, things that he was not understanding. So we did that as um, pretty much like a lesson. So there. It's, sorry, it wasn't focused. Um, so pretty much we went over the lessons together and um, he corrected everything that um, he did wrong and did the same thing over here because he had gotten them all wrong and he redid the lesson and then he did this one on his own and did really well so that's what he did for that book for our spelling uh, using spelling power what I had him do get to it um, he pretty much took his um, his pretest or, or not his pretest his his quiz and um, from then on, then I just kept going down the list of words until we uh, ended up with eight, which were his new words. And then he just wrote them two times each, and he missed one, so he'll have to do that next week. And other than that, I have him do, like, practice on the board. Um, he also worked on his skip counting by threes, and because I laminated this with a cheap piece of paper, I had to put, like, a contact sheet on it to cover it back up for him to use and over and over but he got tired of this he wanted to try it on the board so he just did it on the whiteboard um for math we finally finished our book this week and he did lessons 37 to 39 and he'll be getting his quiz on or his test for the book on monday um and i just wanted to show you this anytime he misspells a word he pretty much uh puts it in here and um, when he does his um, corrections and things like that he not only uses his chart for his um, to know what I circled and what it means but he also uses this to spell his words correctly um, he also did um, printing just the uppercase I just wanted him to practice he did his riddle time so his riddle was what has a bed but never sleeps um, he guessed ant and I guessed sofa bed and the answer was actually river, in which he spelled wrong, and I did not notice. <laughs> so um, he just drew a river, and that's his worksheet. And then he also did his picture book, where he chose a scene, and then he just um, wrote three sentences, three to four sentences on it. Um, he tried to fix it here, still messed up, so had to redo it again, and then got it correctly, and he was done. Um, and his writing... It was pretty much the same thing. We focused um, this week on him fixing everything that he had gotten wrong throughout the week. Um, he did not do anything new. And I'm only doing this for this week because um, he had an allergy test in the beginning of the week. So we were kind of taking it easy um, with school. And I really don't want to get into that allergy test because it was nothing like I thought it was going to be. Um, anyways... <laughs> 
Another thing that he did was his comprehensive curriculum. So he did a few um, pages in here. And um, he's doing compound words, uh, names like capital names, <clears throat> making sure that he's got his capital letters of special person names. Um, we went over the days of the week and the months of the year. He just had to put them where they went. Um, and they were working on um, more than one words. Um, so that's pretty much what he did. And then he just put some words together on here from the actual book. I just tore it up and put it in here. And he put them together and made his own words. Um, and then we go on to science. For science, we're doing a unit study on the desert. So I will show you this in a second. Um, we're working with animal habitats. This is the book I'm using to do unit studies. Um, it is great. It's got different kinds of um, habitats in it and different crafts pretty much for them to do. Um, and then I took out some books from the library. So we read Cactus Cafe, which pretty much has all the animals that use the cactus in the desert to uh, live or to eat out of. So we read that one. Then we also have deserts, and this had uh, pretty much uh, information on the habitats of deserts in America. And then we had a walk in the desert, and this showed you different uh, animals and um, a little bit of information about them. And it showed you like realistic pictures, so he enjoyed uh, looking through here. And then this one we are still going to be using next week because we're not done with the unit study. And this is called Correctamundo, and it's just facts um, about the desert or the cactuses. <clears throat> Hold on a second. Sorry, my older daughters just came home. Um, and then the next book that we're actually going to be using is Find It in the Desert because it explains each uh, different animals and what they're like, what they eat, and things like that. So I will show those. Um, pretty much the ones that I still have to use will be shown next week when we finish our unit. And now um, this is the lot book that I pretty much created. I just got a bunch of worksheets and put them all together and made him um, a lot book. So in the beginning we have um, just a map of the North American deserts because that's what we're studying and where they're located. And as we study them he's just going to color it in. Um, I also had him... Uh, I made him a thing down here where he's going to put what states they're located in and the country because some of them actually go into a different country. And then um, in case he needs to know what the states are, they're pretty much here on this map. When you open it up, um, this side, I put this page and this is something that I made for him. Um, and it's my community because a habitat is actually a community for animals. So I asked him what would be in his habitat in his community. And he pretty much um, just filled in like the buildings, the plants, the seasons, the animals, and what his habitat is, which is a city. Um, another thing that he did was put what is a habitat, the definition for a habitat. And since we <clears throat> are studying the Sonora Desert uh, this week. Um, he just wrote a little bit of the animals that he saw there. And then he would just put all the other deserts as we study them on here from the North American habitats. Um, here he just went and did um, a little type of graph thing. <laughs> um, I don't know how you call it. I just went blank. Um, and it's uh, just the habitat and that it Plants and animals have habitats, which is what we're studying and what it needs to have to become a habitat. Um, over here is desert animals. And pretty much he just went and um, I had these blank where it just says the name of the animal. And he had to glue the animal on here and tell me if it was a carnivore, herbivore, or omnivore. So he just did a uh, prairie dog and sheep and hawk. Um, sorry. There's scorpion and jackrabbit. I mean, they're all in here. And these all are printables that I got from 3dinosaurs.com for this one. <clears throat> and then I'll switch it over here. And then he's going to be doing a cactus writing paper. Hold on. Sorry about that, but sometimes I just cannot get quiet in my house. <laughs> So he'll be doing a cactus writing paper. He's going to be describing a turtle. He will be doing a rattlesnake, um, which we also have a unit study on snakes. So 
he'll do this as well. Um, this will be done for when he picks uh, the desert that he liked the most and he'll put the water, the shelter, the plants, animals, and food. And he's going to use this one to compare our state to the temperature in the desert that he chooses. And this is the worksheet that I pretty much made for him to know if the animals uh, were carnivores, herbivores, etc. Because I just googled uh, the names and what they ate and just put it all on a word sheet and printed it out so he could just read through it and he just looked at it and found out what they were. Um, he also has like a just for fun page and this is just something I glued on here where he's just going to unscramble the words. And then this one came from his workbook. Um, when he learned about bats, he, it was just a fun page. And once we get to the bats on one of the books, he's actually going to write uh, some facts about the bats over here. Um, we'll also be studying camels. So he has um, this little book to study camels on. Let me see if I can open it up. And it's pretty much like facts on it and things like that. And this was something I printed out and he will be looking in the computer himself for information or a book um, and the back is about kangaroos so he will be studying kangaroos the life cycle of a kangaroo um, and this just says uh, how they're marsupials and the definition to that and the same thing here is just life cycle and what it what happens in their life cycle what colors they are etc and then he will just put the parts of a kangaroo together so that is the unit study that I have set up for um, desert study and animals. It's for science um, and it's for the animal habitat for the desert. So uh, if you have any questions, just leave them down below. If I know where the worksheets came from, I will let you know. Um, just, you know, just ask. It's okay. I, I don't mind. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.